Oh, yes. Number four, Olu Fashanu. This is a guy that I'm telling you most people will have number two on their list. Some people even have number one. We got him number four. So this is kind of the uh, the, the one the one pick in here. I think most people are like, whoa, wow, really? Um, you know, and honestly, what it just boils down to is it boils down to the tape. I just wasn't as impressed with the tape as a lot of people seem to be. Uh, at a Penn State, they're six foot six, three hundred and thirteen pounds, left tackle. Um, had a right thigh injury during the combine as well, so we kind of don't have all the numbers from there as far as what he could do physically. Um, at, very athletic, good footwork, but has some balance issues there. This is, you know, this is not the guy that comes in clean, hundred percent foundation, ready to go. And don't get me wrong, you don't have to be. I'm not suggesting he's going to be a bad player necessarily. But you can't be in this kind of draft considered the top or second best tackle when you have issues. You know, you got to be pretty damn good. You can't be, you know, that kind of guy at that point there. So, um, yeah, that's where I, that's where I'm at. So, so I think in the end, I think he's going to be a good player. But I don't think he's necessarily going to be as great as some people think at that point. Um, I mean, he definitely sh shows the flashes of talent. But like you said, he, he hurt himself at the combine. He had he missed a couple games. He missed a game last year. He missed uh, what uh, five games in twenty twenty two due to injury. So that's something you got to take concern. If you're going to draft and make this your guy, like you want to make sure he's going to be able to play. Yeah, and you know, but what I'm just getting is, get is again, there's issues, and again, can he overcome those issues? Sure, but if he doesn't come over some of those issues, it's just not going to work. And I think people people look at his size, and he's a he's a guy who really like looks amazing on the field in in a uniform. And there's some players that just look at him and go, "That's a football player. That's an offensive tackle." Like this guy looks at them like, if you're playing defensive end, this is the kind of guy you don't want to see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. He's an old So, friend. yeah. So, you know, that's that's where I'm I'm at. So, um Yeah, but in the end I guess I just I hate to put it like a number 1 number 2 when you're not perfect, you're not ready 100%, you know? Like you're just not there. Yeah. <sighs> You go number one, you better be starting, stealing the job 100% from the get go. Yeah. And I mean, do we have an update on his thigh? Like, do we know what's going on? I haven't heard anything yet. And, you know, so that's, like, that's where I'm, you know, yeah. Is he going to be able to come to the camp like 100% ready to run? So I, I, have, I haven't heard anything. But again, for me, the issue isn't even the injury. I'm not worried about a thigh injury in the combine at that point. What I'm just worried about is the fact that he's not 100% polished. Yeah, in I a mean, class with a lot of people that are polished. Now, again, could he be a better player than some of the guys we're about to mention? 100% he could. But it's not guaranteed to be. Not that there's many guarantees in the NFL in general, but in the draft. Yeah. But this is not the guy that I can sit there and say, oh, yeah, he's in definitely better than these guys. He could be. He could be much worse. So that's where I'm at there. You know, he's got to get some of those, some of the issues that I see in the, on tape just kind of fixed up there. A lot of it is just, like I said, balance is technique. It's things like that. But he's got the athletic skills. And again, this is that high, high ceiling, low floor kind of guy. So I'll put him in that elite category, the top four, but I can't put you at one or two when you got issues like that. I just can't do it. Um, Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.